ought to watch yourself, friend. You've heard Mad Dog Tannen has been causing trouble something fierce of late. Don't reckon to know what's got him and his boys so riled up. But I do reckon that anyone who can send him and his mongrels back to the pound will be looking at a handsome reward from the town. Didn't get hard fighting Mad Dog. Wherever he goes, trouble tends to follow not too far behind. That was a big giveaway too. <laughs> just sent Mad Dog and his boys riding off into the sunset with their tails between their legs. Guess you'll be wanting that reward I mentioned, eh? Though I reckon it won't take him long to lick his wounds and start hounding people again. Gives me time to think of some more dog jokes, I suppose. Surprise! H. Newton! How am I going to explain this to Clara? Good timing! I promised Clara I'd fix her telescope, but of course, the moment I go to my telescope parts drawer, empty. It appears telescope repair is a more popular trade of the 1880s than the history books give it credit for. I have a list of the components I need. Have a good look around and I'm sure you'll find them. Good luck! about taking the DeLorean back a little further to prevent the telescope from being broken in the first place. But let's not complicate the timeline anymore. Valley, just like I remember it, or maybe will remember it, or remember it in the future. Scott! You've returned with everything I asked for! So quickly! Are you sure you didn't use time travel? You know what, they'll tell me. All that matters is that I now have everything I need to fix Kyra's telescope, thus creating the perfect opportunity to see her again. What? Oh yes, I should give you something for the parts. Here you go! Oh, 
horses. They come storming through, done a number on the blacksmith's claw. I reckon I could fix up the damage if we had money for parts. up the old holographic sign. Hey, those things aren't cheap, you know. Head can't wander too far without his implants overheating. Thanks, man. sent me out to do some shopping, but I promised my boyfriend that we'd hang out today, so yeah, I, I think I know which one of them I'm gonna choose. But hey, if you got the time, maybe you could grab the stuff for my grandma, and then everyone wins. Here, I'll give you her shopping list. Thanks! Yeah, you're gonna have to go all over town for that stuff. Why do you think I didn't want to do it? Call me Benny! So, 
horses. They come storming through and done a number on the blacksmith clock. I reckon I could fix the damage if we had the money for parts. <laughs> Money talks, but I could make it sing if I had enough studs to fix up my Huh? Where is he? I swear, if he's wasting time at one of those retro cafes again, I'm gonna. Hey, you're back already? Did you get everything on the list? Awesome, thanks. As you can see, my boyfriend still hasn't shown up. So I guess I could have gone by myself after all. Sorry about that. Listen, how about I give you this as a thank you? I think it's some kind of retro collectible. Pretty cool, huh? Here's Einstein is a particularly fond of the dog food found in 2015. Every time I go to feed him lately, he runs off. Usually he comes back after a few minutes of me yelling myself hoarse, but this time he seems to be determined that I lose my voice entirely. <sighs> Would you mind taking a look around for him? Listen, Einstein's very fond of digging. in somebody's Einstein. Thanks, Sir Isaac Ace Newton, you're all right. I hope this kind of protest doesn't continue. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to travel back to 1985 every time I want to feed you. Thank you for finding him. I hope he didn't cause you too much trouble. Here, take this for your help. <laughs> 